Jordan, my older son, didn't stop talking at home. But when he was at school, he wouldn't talk to the teachers. At singing, he wouldn't sing, he wouldn't dance. During that journey, we found out that he had an anxiety condition called selective mutism. The progress that he made in his four years at the JCC was tremendous. Jordan came into my class and we'd ask him a question and he would just sit there and not say anything. At the end of the school year, we did Kidapalooza and our class was really into rock. They loved Queen and they all wanted to play air guitar on stage and sing We Will Rock You. He went on that stage and he danced and he clapped and he even grabbed the microphone and sang a solo for a hot second. He really blossomed under the JCC. It became like a second home to him. Not only did he find you know, intellectual curiosity and he discovered a lot of things that he's into and really started being interested in learning, but he just became comfortable in his own skin. If I were to choose a second home in Denver other than my high school, it would be the JCC. It's where I've cultivated my closest friendships. and you know, It's somewhere I feel comfortable every day and love to come. I started playing basketball at the J when I was probably five or six years old, playing in the little JCC league with my dad coaching. I remember when I was really little, I would want to go play or at least watch when my dad would go on Sundays, but I obviously was too small. It's just fun to be able to play and for me to be big enough and old enough now to actually compete with the big guys. We have probably an age span of, I would say, 15 to close to, at times, up to 70. And it's competitive and the 15-year-olds don't take it easy on the 70-year-old, and most importantly, the 53-year-olds don't take it easy on the 17-year-olds either. It's humbling to have 65-year-olds shooting threes over your head and hitting them every time. Or 53-year-olds shooting over his head every time. Rarely. The JCC has this unique opportunity to be here from cradle to old age. It has been my privilege to work with these lovely people who have so much wisdom. They have lived rich, fulfilling lives, and they still have a lot to teach us. I was born in Vienna, Austria, raised in Kansas City, and went to the University of Missouri. Then I spent 40 years as an ER doc, so I've seen it all. Though only 12% of the population is 65 and over, they make up over 20% of all suicides. Main causes for elder suicide is loneliness. The thing is here, the different programs, for example, the writing program, four days a week they have lunches. And then they've got what they call schmooze, which people just sit around and talk. But it keeps you mentally active. The biggest pull for most people that I talk to that come here is the community feel and the way everyone is treated. I want to thank the Jay for teaching me how to write the ABCs and then also for cultivating lifelong friendships that I'm going to have forever. I want to thank the Jay for being a community and a place that people call a second home. If we can share our happiness and our wealth, but our happiness, that's what we should be doing and it, it should help everybody around us. I'm dead serious. The JCC really does save lives. If, if when we save one life, what's it worth? <laughs>